Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. From the title, I'm sure you've already gathered what we're going to be doing today. I work in the dental field and I've got some requests to make ear savers for the doctors. The items you'll be needing are folders, the sturdy plastic kind, scissors, a Cricut mat, SVG files, and a cutting machine. So you can use either Cricut Maker or the Cricut Ear 2. You can use a silhouette or whatever cutting machine you have. All right, so I picked up these mats. I'm sorry, I picked up these folders from the dollar store yesterday. I got a few different kinds. And when you cut these, you wanna cut them along this seam right here, and you're gonna be left with this piece, just this piece, which is fine. Um, I went ahead and I cut a couple of them already. So that's what it looks like on the inside. And then some other ones out over here. So I already have one on my cutting mat. I'm gonna be using the Strong Grip cutting mat today. So that's in, that's already loaded into my cutting machine. I'm gonna be using the Cricut Air too. So let's go over to my computer and I'll show you what everything looks like. All right, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. I'm starting with a new canvas. And what you wanna do is go, click on these three lines right here and you wanna click on home. Then you wanna go down to where it says Cricut Access and click view all. Once you're there, on the upper right-hand corner, you'll see search project. Just type in ear saver. Enter, and it's gonna be the first one on the top left-hand corner. So you click on that, and it's gonna give you a couple options. So if you, right here where it says finished size, you can click that drop-down arrow, and it'll give you the option small, medium, or large. The small ones, I'm assuming you can use for the kids. I'm going to be using the large ones, so click that one and customize. All right, there we go. So I'm going to go to upload and these are the SVGs that I already have. So I'm just going to click all three and hit insert images. Okay, and here we go. These two are attached together. So what I'm going to do is ungroup them. So I'm going to go up here to my layers panel and click on group. And now they are separate. Now you can resize them if you'd like. This one up here, the one from Cricut, is eight inches. Just about. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it to be the same. So I'm going to click it. And right here you'll see the unlock, the, the lock icon, I'm going to click that to unlock it, and then I'm going to be able to resize it. So double click on that and put 8.106, I think that's what this one is, 104, I'm off by 2, Four. there we go. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. So click this to unlock it, go up here. The other two, yeah, I'm gonna resize those two. Unlock. Unlock. And one more time, 8.14. Enter. Okay, now we're good to go. What I wanna do though is change the color of each of them, just because when it gets on my mat, it's a little hard to see when you have it on a black mat. So I'm just going to uh, group all of them together and go over here and change the color, any color. I'm just gonna choose, pick, whatever. Now when I go to make it, it's visible and I see what I'm working with. All right, so I am working with a 12 by 12 Cricut mat. Put that right into my Cricut machine. Okay, so click on continue. And you want to make sure that your Cricut machine is 
on custom. Now you're gonna go over here to browse materials and where it says search all materials, you wanna put plastic. I spell that right, yep, okay. Search and then it's gonna say foil acetate. That's the one you wanna select. And I'm just gonna click that and done. I'm going to change my pressure to more just because my blade isn't brand new. So if your blade is brand new, then I'm sure it should be fine. Now my light is blinking, which is telling me that, oops, I can insert my cricket nut, which is what I'm going to do. And hit go. cutting but I realized that it's not coming up which means it didn't cut properly and I went ahead and taped it I used painter's tape to put around the edge of it because it was lifted my mat isn't so new and it's not as strong so um, I went ahead and put some tape to make it secure um, my this button is basically blinking for me to remove the mat I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna hit this cricket button again so that it can cut all over again because if i don't do that and like if i remove it and put it back in it may not cut in the same lines again so i'm going to hit this button again so it did its thing and it's all done and if you see it's coming up off of the mat and I just want to take my time because I don't want to cut it. Um, it doesn't look like all of it has, um, it doesn't look like everything has cut. So I'm wondering if I should put it back again. Just to do one last run through. Because it looks like it is coming up, but I don't know if I should. I'm just going to do it again just to be on the safe side. I think that last one did the trick. This is already popping up off of the mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload this. This wasn't as easy as I, I had anticipated. I had to use my X-Acto knife to take it from the folder itself. I mean, nothing too crazy, but I had to use it to pry it out. Um, while I was doing it, I nicked one of them. I think it was this one. Um, yeah, I tore it a little bit. Not too bad, but um, it's still visible. The Mickey one is my favorite one. I really like that one. So I'm gonna have to make some more. And um, I think I just need to increase my pressure with the other ones that I do. Comment below, tell me which one you like the best. So after I did all of that, I decided to make my own cut settings for this, um, for these SPGs. So I'm click here to continue. And since we're already on custom, all the custom materials will show up. You wanna click here at browse materials and go all the way down to, well, it's at the bottom right here. It says material settings. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says add new material. And since it's called ear saver, I'm just gonna name it ear saver. Okay, and save. Okay. So now you get to do your own settings. I'm gonna bring it all the way to 350. 
The setting I cut it on before was $2.99, so I think $3.50 will definitely do the job. And right here where these two arrows are, I hope you can see this. All right, there we go. Where these two arrows are, you can select how many times you want it to cut. And the last one, it cut only two times. So I think I'm going to put it at, well, maybe five times. I think five times should do the job. And then select save. Okay. Now when you go to the X out here. This is updating. You're going to click on browse materials again. Click in search all materials and just put in ear saver. And click search. And it comes up. And done. And there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on that. And I hope you guys try it out. I hope it works out for you. If you find another method at work, please let me know as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.